What up? It's Tony. Back again with another dream vlog. Ooh, I uh, slept really good this night. But I woke up a few times. And, uh, I remember some dream that I had. I, I dreamt a lot uh, about a lot of shit. But, uh... There's two things I can remember. First thing was really bizarre. Uh, I was at some kind of work. I don't know what work it was, but it was something I'd never done before. And, uh, and I can't really remember what it was. I, I don't know some strange building but suddenly one of my bosses in real life uh well i'm not gonna name him but uh he he's my boss well one of my bosses for about four months now and uh he takes me apart to a room and he begins explaining to me that he cannot find another person to tell this to, but uh, he says to me he's been possessed for about a, a half year or something. I said, what, possessed? Yeah, it, uh, uh, when it starts, I begin to have all these images in my mind from satanic stuff and uh, all this shit and uh, it really hurts my lower back and my hips and uh, it comes all the way up my spine and it's like it's controlling my body that's what he says to me and uh, I said wow oh, that's crazy dude I was explained to him that uh, that sounds like Kundalini uh, awakening. I I don't have any experience with that, but I also explained to him in the dream that uh, I just saw that on YouTube and uh, there's a lot of people that have that kind of awakening that uh, go to pain for years. Uh, I've seen once a guy like fucking 80 years or something. <laughs> that was fucking crazy, dude. Eight years of pain. So I explained that to him and... Uh, uh, that's about it. About that part. He just goes away and uh, he says thanks for the information and... Uh, Oh yeah, he also explained that he does like these uh, movements which he cannot control. So yeah. That's about it for that part. Now the second part's a little bit more fucked up. I was... Uh, well, this is later in the night, more the morning. Uh... I was also working, but it was the job that I do right now. It's like order picking, like putting boxes on pallets. And, uh, uh, but it was outside, it's weird. But uh, I was doing that, I, I was making good progress to make my uh, goal. I should say, to keep the boss happy. Well, I was doing that, and, and you, you need to drive from place to place. But I was driving outside, and suddenly, I look to my right, and I see a cat with his uh hind leg and I think it was the right leg 
cut off or driven off. And I saw that and I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I keep driving. And I was thinking like, oh, it's going to bleed out. It's going to it's gonna be dead soon. But I keep, better keep working, right? So that was first thinking. And I thought some more. I was like, oh, that cat, man. Oh, that fucking cat's fucking in pain. Uh, and I remember there's a vet. A vet close by. And uh, I had to make a choice. Either save the cat, take it to the vet. Or make my boss happy. And it was like a choice I had to make. So, uh, I decided to go after the cat. So I drive back to the cat. See the cat's laying there. I think it's crawled into a corner to go to high or something. Uh, I approached the cat and uh, I was prepared to get attacked because they uh, tend to do that, I think. Took off my shirt and uh, when I pulled off my shirt, the cat's body has turned into a baby's body, but but the head was still a cat. I don't know what it was. It was transforming into a, a baby. Didn't say anything. Didn't make any noise. But I took it, it stretched arms up, and I began walking to the vet. And then I woke up because I had to go pee. It was fucking strange, dude. Again with the baby shit with the cat. I don't know what it is about that, but... Maybe the cats are baby souls, like young souls. I don't know what it is, man. But uh, I think a month ago I also had a dream with a cat. So uh, the hind leg sliced off and uh, was crying like a baby. So it got to be something like that, man. Maybe a young soul, or something, baby soul. Yeah. So yeah, I think that was a test dream. Again, the test dream, and I think I passed. Well, I sort of passed because first I drove, just drove by. Maybe I should should have uh, stopped right ahead and exit directly. Well, who cuts fucking cat legs off? Oh man, that's fucking. It's freaking crazy, dude. I didn't see any cutting or something. Only one leg was missing. Not a whole lot of blood, but uh, it was gone, man. So, yeah. Well, at least I tried to save it, so. That's a good ride. Yeah. Sure, that's about it. <sighs> Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, have a great Sunday, I guess. Okay, bye bye.